Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the 4 p.m. Here we are, ready for a swaying stretch. Um, it's a little cooler now. There's the sun's kind of hazed away, um, but it's still quite warm. Is that better? Is that the right way round? I'm not sure. Um, the chickens are making a dust bath in the background here. Do you want to have a little look at her? And there she is. Look, right in that nice patch of grass that has been kind of freshly seeded. Oh, look, she's having a lovely time. There you go, there she is. Well, there they all are. <laughs> that cute, isn't it? There we go. Little, uh, Local wildlife, hard at work, wrecking my grass. <laughs> She's having a lovely time there. Um, a couple of minutes to four it is. Uh, we're gonna be doing a sway and a stretch and um, enjoying a little bit of fresh air out here. And the chickeny dust bath. There you go. She's <laughs> having a lovely scratch around there, Vivian. Hello, Paul as well. Afternoon. Uh, just, just having a lovely time in there. She really is. My grass isn't, though. It's got a right old divot in it now. A chicken-shaped divot. Afternoon, Gillian. Been singing for the brain. Ready for a relaxing sway and stretch. Yep, so am I. Oh, went out for lunch with a friend earlier. Had a nice, nice catch-up and a chat. Um, that's about it really. One minute two, and we'll get going. Somebody's just sneezing in the background there. I wonder if they'll be sneezing and swaying with, with us in a few minutes. There we go, there she is. A little bit like a cat, you know, when a cat like has a little roll around and have a little scratch and a... Yeah, there she is. Look, hello, Gillian, with a G and a J. Both of you's in, Vivian and Paul are in. Um, yeah, it's a little hazy. It's 4pm. Right, let's have a look. Let's put you over here. I've got the... Um, Here we go. Shall we go here? Here and here. There we go. Okay, stand tall. Use your external support as much or as little as you need it. Uh, hopefully, yours is a tad more sturdier than mine. Um, I'm not using it all that much, though. So it should be all right. Pedal the legs when you when you're ready, and at the same time, just lift and lengthen create a bit of space here, create a bit of space for breathing as well. And if you are seated, have a hip walk forwards. And then you can do all of that good stuff with the circulation boosting, foot pedaling, leg marches, adding in the arms in seated as well. A steady rhythmical pace that will gradually warm us up gradually get us breathing a little bit deeper and it will give a light lift to the heart rate as well. There's a little bit of extra demand for um, oxygen around the body, around these working bits and pieces. And uh, there might be, this might be a, a slightly lifted um, level of movement that you've been doing because it's been too hot. 
to move around in. Keep going, driving through the arms, swinging up the shoulders, and uh, a pace that's comfy for you. Three minutes or so of circ boost is all that we need to just prep us up. Feel the feet as they roll down and peel up from the floor. And you've got a light and a low level height of knee lift there in seated and in standing. Take a pause right there. Now, standing strong and sturdy, we're going to do an easy um, Monday beginning move. So, we're going to Put a little bend into the knee, reach forwards, up, come to here and push and sweep down. <laughs> so that's, what did I just do then? <laughs> that's it, I lifted up there to there and scoop over. If you want, you can put a little lift into there. So there's a small knee bend, a little, a little swing back through the shoulders there, push and scoop over. In seated, rather than your knee bend, you might want to put in a small hinge forwards. So a small hinge forwards, Kind of swing the shoulder back, back, shoulders back, and then scoop it over at the top end of that move. So there's the reach, there's the uh, shoulder swing, there's the up and over. So you've got a little tiny bit of pace change in there. So slow on the up, little easy swing, and then slow on the way back down. I'm going to feel that maybe getting into the shoulder blades a little bit. Up and over, round and down. You can do that with one arm if you need your external support. And then maybe a swap sides. See how you go with that. Couple more. And I'll do one more in seated. Little hinge, back in and round it goes to there. And that's our sway routine starter for a Monday. Now let's have a, I feel like I need an upper back stretch. So let's have a go at an upper back stretch today. And you may well find that this stretches the back of your neck when you get your chin down towards your chest as well. So if you want, come into seated. You don't need to think about your balance and standing stability when you're in seated and you might find that this is a better place for you to be so that you're able to relax into your stretches a bit better. Hold your hands together, round your shoulders, just allow the chin to draw down towards the chest. Let your head hang there a little bit and see if you can feel like you're separating your shoulder blades apart there. You can get a bit of tension, stiffness in the neck, the shoulders. We hold tension here if we're uh, a bit stressed as well. So a good bit of stretch for the back of the shoulders. Let's just try that with one arm coming across now. So one arm going across the body and just hug it in towards you. And you'll find that opens out at the shoulder area. We'll go straight into our tricep stretch from here. So keep your hand on your elbow here and then just move your arm up and over and we're into that tricep back of arm stretch. Lift tall as you sit tall 
and then put a big reach on the end. We'll work our way through those three positions. The shoulder stretch first, across your body, hug it in, try not to hunch up, keep everything low, shoulders low and away from the ears, feeling that open out the shoulder. Keep hold of your arm here, your spare hand finds the shoulder, same, same side, and we're into the normal stretch that we do for the back of the upper arm. Try and come up and sit tall at the same time as uh, lifting through the back of the arm and then put in a full reach. There we go. Maybe a double arm reach. And come into it. All right, just staying with one more stretch for the upper body. We've got a uh, chest stretch, the one that we normally do. So find your hands round to your hips or hold your seat and squeeze your shoulder blades together and at the same time feel like your chest has lifted up there. Long in the abdomen and really opens your posture this does. Um, think about the times you need to reach behind you. You might be reaching as you put your arms into um, shirts, tops, blouses, cardies, um, light jackets. You might be uh, twisting around, putting your arms around the back here to um, fasten something behind you, like apron strings, or tucking your shirt into your trousers or skirt, and relax there. Okay, onto the legs then, a couple of stretches for, for legs. Back of thigh first, have space here between the seat and the back of your knee, so that the back of your leg isn't supported by the chair. You can get this knee out really straight now. Lift up tall, feel like you're perching on your sit bones just before you lean into it. You're getting that in the back of the, the knee, up into your and around your hip. Use your breathing. Your breathing, steady, controlled breathing will help relax and release some of the stretch tension that you feel and you may be able to go a bit deeper a bit further it probably won't need a whole deal of movement though just the smallest tweak of a movement can be all that that stretch needs to to get a bit more right we're going to stretch the calves in seated today so come up and pull the toes back towards you sit up tall here and that's all you should need to do to get a bit of length into your calf area. You're going to feel that right in the, in the chunky bit of your calf. You might start to feel it a little bit lower down in places as well. Uh, the more stiffer your muscles are, the more you'll feel it. But you should still feel it no matter what your flexibility. You might feel this muscle here in the shin. It's having to contract a little bit to hold your foot and ankle in that position. It might get a bit tired. Just relax it off if it does and go back into it for a second time. So you do essentially two slightly shorter stretches than the one long hold. Swap sides. So um, loose ankle, loose knee to start with there. Lifted posture, high perching and hinging forwards. Find your point of stretch. Try not to let your um, shoulders round and hunch. Try and stay lifted and open in your posture at the front of your body and that will transfer to a bit more length in the spine. Tilt, lean a little bit more into it. Maybe a tiny bit more if you can. And recover. Toes pulled back, heel pushing under and through, and upright, active posture. Do you know what? Those red currants on that tree look um, rather appetising. They look it, but they're probably going to be a bit... <sighs> 
do quite fancy having a taste. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now, just to get a little bit lower into the calf, tuck your feet back a little bit more than you usually would have your feet tucked back, and then push the heels down. Try and get the heels towards the floor. You'll feel that stretching now a bit lower. This is just perhaps a little bit more tucked back than our normal sit to stand tucked back um, foot position. Try and sit tall. Push the heels towards the floor and you'll feel some lengthening in your lower part of your calf muscle. And there we go. That should do nicely. A bit of foot pedalling. Free it up. And there we have your sway and stretch for today. Right. Don't they look a great colour? Look at that. I'm going to taste them. Oh, a little bit better than um, than it was uh, a few weeks ago when I tried some, but still a bit, still a bit winky. Right, everyone, there you have sway and stretch for today. Um, we'll see you back tomorrow for a full round of movement snacks. Try for now. Have a lovely evening.